It's on again. Some of the most energy efficient vehicles on the planet are gearing up for the World Solar Challenge. In the pack is JCAR Sunswift 3 from the University of New South Wales. Because it's the only solar car, solar powered car built in New South Wales and we're about to race in the World Solar Challenge from uh, Darwin to Adelaide. The 3,000 kilometre race is the fifth World Solar Challenge for Sunswift. The car has already broken a world record for the fastest crossing from Perth to Sydney and the team is confident of their car's abilities. Uh, we've taken this one to 130 kilometres per hour. Um, we can average 90 kilometres per hour over, a whole, over the course of a day. So, yeah, it's pretty quick. In a vehicle which moves along on the same sort of power that you'd need to run a toaster, being as light as possible is all important. Sunswift tips the scales at around 205 kilos, courtesy of a handmade carbon fibre body, custom suspension, steering and braking systems, all designed by University of New South Wales engineering students. Uh, my name's Jay Logan, I'm the project leader for the 2006-2007 UNSW Solar Racing Team. This car, the shape, all of the mechanical systems, all of the electrical systems, all student designed and all student built. We outsource some of the machining for some of the more complicated parts. Everything's been done from scratch by us. All right, first of all, we've got our battery pack there and then next is our CB radio for communication. Um, along here, that's obviously your safety harness. These are, that's your steering rods there, so it's like a push and pull tank steering and the controls are up there, so all the electronics. The SunSwift crew design and build their car manage the team themselves and they do it all in their spare time. The reward is a chance to trial what they're learning in one of the toughest testing grounds in the world. And I'm actually, I came to Sydney specifically to study renewable energy engineering and it's basically applying what I'm learning in theory and um, I get to get my hands dirty and do some real work. Taking part in the World Solar Challenge means four drivers covering 600 to 700 kilometres of desert road each day. Which only leaves the question, what's the car like to drive? Everyone always asks, oh my god, is it hot, is it uncomfortable? And it looks really claustrophobic and it's not. It's a lot hot, like it's about 5 to 10 degrees hotter than outside, but that's expected. When you're in there, you don't notice anything except the fact that you're driving. So you're concentrating on this car, on the road, on the fact that you're in a car that you built that's going at you know 90 k's an hour down the road and the time flies. Like you'll be in there for 40 minutes or something and it will feel like you've been in it for 10. It's nothing like driving a normal car.